and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hannick, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Why are you looking at me like I know. that? Are you listening, Brad? Well, I okay. usually don't. Today we're talking about the perfect workout mm. for older adults and be senior citizens. Sure. Um, so the perfect workout should include strengthening, mm -hmm. endurance, flexibility, balance, and we got to include posture. Posture, so, absolutely. So we're going to show you a sample workout and includes these five. And let's get right to it, Brad. That's right, so, Bob. Now, you always, when you work out, you want to start with a warm up because you want to make sure the blood is flowing and the heart rate is up and the muscles are warmed up. So just walking in place is a good way to start. Sure. You know, if you need something to hold on to, we got a yep, chair go here. Ahead. Hold, make sure you're safe. Then some steps to the side, you know. You can do, do a beat if you want. Maybe I should sing. No. No, no, no. <laughs> no that, that would get a lot of people turning that thing off. So it doesn't take much to warm up. And then with some arm swings, I like them in both directions going backwards. And big, this is where you want to make sure you don't hit anybody. Big circles. Yep, big circles. Think about breathing. Good deep yes, breaths in. Yes, good point, Brad. Exhale. Big wheels keep on turning. Yeah. If you don't get the breathing going, those lungs working, it's going to be uh, not near as effective. Now, I'll show you the down version, I basically, where you're going to show, not the advanced version, but um, more if, you, if you want to sit more, you can do this version. If you yep. want to stand more, you can do that version. Sure. So we're going to start off, always got to start with a posture one. So the Brad's famous W's. W's, yes. For winning or for Wisconsin. That's oh right. God. Yes, we Wisconsin. When you do these, you want to make sure, we're going to do 10 of them. You want to make sure you're squeezing the shoulder blades together and you're bringing the, the chin back and you're retracting. Right here. That's it. Breathe in. All right, yep, open those lungs up. Relax. All right, and we're gonna start with some arm curls. I'm gonna grab weights, or you wanna grab the weights, Brad. Sure. Now you can use um, you can use milk jugs, or you can use uh, uh, soup, soup cans. cans. Yep. Yes. And all you're gonna do is work on posture. You keep your good posture and work on doing the curls. Right. So chest out, shoulders yep. back. So working on strength and posture with this one. We're working for about 10 repetitions, 10 repetitions on all these. Yes. If it's too much, that's exactly. okay, just rest. Then we'll do some arm raises where you actually go out to the side. I want you, your palms down. Yep. And you're gonna go look like you're flying away. <laughs> now this one, you know, if you have weights, it's gonna be a lot more difficult this probably yes, than is. your curls. You may have to go with a lighter right. weight. Or you can start off with no weight at all. Yeah. And you, you don't want to go way up high on this. It's going to be hard on the shoulders. Like Bob's doing, out about straight out is, 90 is degrees. good. I actually started to feel that. Oh, yeah. It. All right, next one, chair dips. So Ooh. what you can do, you need an arm, arm rest, bilateral arm rest. <laughs> Both sides. Both sides. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your legs as much as you need to, but you wanna use your arms as much as you can. That's right. So you're gonna push up like this, and that's gonna work those triceps. Right. A little it's, bit of chest, too. It's like chair push-ups almost, huh? Sure. You could call it that Whatever. if you like. Yeah, you'll, you'll feel it right here in the back of the arms. If you can't get all the way up, that's okay. Do your best. Yep. That's all we ask of you. And safety first. Safety first. All right, next one. It's a posture one. This one feels good. You grab the upper traps, the upper back, I guess you would call it, and you're going to pull on it, and you're going to do chin tucks, and you can even do uh, neck extensions. If sure. Man and back. If you have a hard time, like my shoulders are a little tight. I can't reach back there very well. Do the best you can. You can even grab the side of your neck and work your fingers around the neck you a little bit. You can reach back, can't you? It's hard for me, Bob. No kidding. Yeah, my shoulders just... What a baby. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Well, your arms are seven feet long. <laughs> uh. Yeah, short arms. <laughs> All right, next one. It's going to be sit the stance. Um, oh, yeah. Out of the chair. If you need to, you can use your arms yeah. to help you. If you're better at it, you can 
go like this yep. or it can go straight sure. out like this. Yep. So I'll do the lower version. We're gonna do 10 of these. And now this is a good uh, challenge. Good posture. Yes. This is a little harder with the hands up if you're feeling very confident and balanced well. How many is it, Brad? Uh, well, <laughs> two. I think we're at three right now. No, I, I, we must be getting over five. But we're going to shoot for that 10. Now, you're going to feel that's, a, that's going to be yeah. aggressive for some people. If it's too much, start with five. If it's too much, start with three. I mean, if this is your first day, you yep. might get sore muscles from this tomorrow. Exactly. So don't swear at us. All right. <laughs> wow, you know what I mean. At least so we don't hear it anyway. Next one is leg abduction. Standing. So you get behind the chair if you need to for balance. And you're going to bring the leg out to the side. And you can keep the toes straight forward that way for me it would be that way yep exactly and then show them what not to do with their trunk from, from well, your you don't, you don't want to dip with your yeah your trunk and you don't want to bring the toe out like that yep all right and you're going to do both sides oh yeah i can't bob because the ball's in my way <laughs> i'll move there we go you work these to work on strength and balance again we're getting all five components that we're looking for right next one a uh, leg extension probably best to show this way right? sure right i'll go this way again that's going to work on balance work on strength keep breathing good deep breath when you breathe it makes a, a relaxing activity versus a stressful activity right right all right, we need some music, Brad. Oh, Bob. Well, let me think about this. All right, how about heel raises? Down in the valley. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like that song. I think we can stop now. <laughs> valley so low. So are we just going up on our toes? And, and we'll go the other way and, too. Yep. So we can do that or can we combine it up on our toes? And yep, you can, do, back? you can do it together if you want. Be careful when you go back on your heels because yeah. that's where some people will be. Uh, there's nothing to hold you unless you got a good chair to hold on to or the cupboard. All right, now next one is a flexibility one. Yeah. And I'm going to use a towel and Brad's going to show the stretch strap. The, the only really big advantage of this, particularly with some people, if you have arthritic hands and you, you have a hard time grasping because it's painful or they're weak, is the loops and the stretch strap allow us you do not have they come in that. handy for a lot of they things. do um, so we're going to do shoulder flexion and this is where, where where this really helps is if you have one shoulder that goes further than the other and so the the good shoulder will help the bad shoulder exactly so you just bring it up overhead like this And like on this one, with the with this, it's nice. I'm gonna go out one loop and my hands are wider. I can go a little higher, a little more yep. comfortable. It's um, gonna be better if, yeah, if your, your hands are facing each other. Yeah, thumbs up. Yes. Yep. Opens up those shoulder joints a little bit more. That's just the nature of the All joint. Right. Then shoulder extension, a little bit difficult uh, seated in position. Yep. You have to get off to the side here. You're gonna grab behind you and you're gonna raise up like this. This is really nice with, with the strap with the, uh, these are not very expensive. I mean, if you do this and you think you're gonna continue doing it, uh, it might be worth buying. Well, it. it really comes in handy for leg stretching. That's I exactly mean, right too. You want good posture with this one and you want to be breathing like the whole time. <laughs> we don't want anybody to stop breathing. <laughs> All right, next one is actually hamstring and that's where you can actually use the towel underneath like this if you want. Sure. Brad, but what you're going to do is you're going to get it straight in the leg, but you're also going to stretch the leg. So yeah, you're increasing the flexibility and you're increasing quad strength at the same time. Whoa, now you can yeah. just put your hand on your heat for some of you can do that. Yep, that's fine. But this keeps you in better posture. Yeah. You know, a lot of people bend over like this when they're yeah. doing that. So I want you to, again, real straight posture when you're doing this. And you'll probably feel that stretch right below, right by the knee, but and uh, you're getting stretch under here, strengthening here. It's a nice combination. You want to even things out. 
Otherwise, you'll be walking around in circles, yeah, Brad. We'll have none of that. Yes. That's exactly my point, Bob. Circle walking gets you nowhere fast. Hmm. I always see that duck on the water swimming in a With circle. With one leg? And I wonder, does it only have one leg? Or I what? think so. I can't see underneath Either the that water. Or the other one's taped up. Yeah. <laughs> We should say All right, this next ducks. one, by the way, is kind of an advanced one. And if you can't do it, don't include this one. But uh, oh, it's yeah. kind of a split squat. So you get behind the chair. You have one leg in front, one leg in back. And you're just going to dip down like this. Yep. Now, you can do it shallow. So, But these are a really great exercise if you can do it. If it's you have it. for balance. Is, if you have a cane, you could hold on to the, a cane or walker sure. and then a chair. But don't go too deep. Right. If your knees hurt when you do this, do yeah, not don't do it. Do it at Just all. stop. And then you can uh, obviously do both sides. That's right. Wow. But it's a good functional exercise. It's, it's a good one to do if you're able to do it. And then we're going to finish off with the W's, Brad. You can't go wrong with the W's. A posture exercise is a great way to start and finish. You can do this throughout the day, actually. Right. You know, before you eat, do the, your W's. When you're done eating, do your W's. Before you watch Gunsmoke, do your W's. <laughs> I watch it on Grit, you know? I like that program. Sure, you're old enough now. <laughs> you yeah. Watch it. Wow. I'm going to be 59 in a couple yeah. of weeks. You I know, know you are. How do you October, know? October, right? I can't remember. <laughs> That's what happens when you turn. Yeah. I'm going to have, this is my first 59th birthday. I'm going to have about five more. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that's going to continue for a while. Now you can do a cool down too, which is walk in place and the steps to the side. And, Sometimes you know, I just circles. like to yep. relax and shake it off. Oh, yeah. Very good. Enjoy right, the day and watching. be careful in all that you do.